Good morning. So this is day eight. So for the next three days, I'm going to give you some movements for the spine. So the body and the mind always kind of come back into balance. We're like a pendulum. So if you imagine this is like a pendulum, quite often we're going diet, not diet, sleep, not sleep, exercise, not exercise. And life becomes, but if you get out of your thinking, doing, battling against, you just stay in that. There's a, we're never actually in balance, but we're always, we can just take out that big pendulum. But that doesn't come from your thinking and from your doing. So what yay, remember the aim of yoga and meditation is to for union back to ourself. So I think of it like the sunshine. Sunshine's in through the crown of my head. In my heart, there's a sunshine. It is my love, my peace, my joy, my all-knowing. And it is abundant. We create fear, lack, worry, stress up here. It's not out there in the world, it's up here. Yes, life can get roller coastery, but when you come from your heart, you're able to deal with it a lot better. And so this movement, these movements that I'm about to share with you over the next three days, move the spine. Quite often, often we compensate. We compensate in life and we compensate in the body. So if, for instance, if you have, excuse me, a shoulder injury and the shoulder stops working, you start to use your back. Yeah, which most people do. And my movements keep aiming to bring you back into balance. So, for instance, here, I've shown you this before. Quite often we sit like this. Think that each joint has two pieces of elastic. So one here and one here. When you slump, this one shortens, this one lengthens. This is holding on for dear life. It's going to feel like you want to stretch. But what it needs is to come back into its centre. So my belly and my back are now of even length and my pelvis and my core muscles have me. I'm not working my core. My core breathes me. Yeah? So, sit yourself. I'm on, I'm on a pile of blocks and bricks but a chair is probably good. Yeah? So you want to be in a comfortable position. And just bring your awareness, just gently arch your back and feel how your back muscle shortens. It's like what we do on the floor. Now go very slow and very small. You should never feel pain or strain. Round, very shortened. Now go forward and back and feel how the lower back moves. Where is it where you're sent up, where you're on your sit bones? Feel your sit bones. Feel your sit bones. Let's do that again. Breathe in to arch. There's your back. Breathe out to gently roll. Now come back into centre. Where is centre? Where do you feel centred in your sit bones? And it's like a metaphor that your pelvis is like the bottom of the ocean. It's quiet. It is still. Up on the top, there's waves. And there may be a storm which creates big crashing waves. That's your thinking. But the quiet is still always there, no matter what's happening in your thinking, underneath. So close your eyes, bring your awareness into your pelvis, and just feel that quiet, that stillness, and let the movement arise out of the quiet, the stillness, not the doing of thinking, got to need you should do with your head. So just let your left arm hang down by your side, right arm is up, and you're just gonna twist everything to your left. So your ribs twist, your shoulders and your head and the arm goes around. Come back and then go again and feel that twist and then back. You're going to stay in it this time. So you're going to stay twisted to the left. Now keep your head twisted to the left. So your head stays still. Just your eyes. Eyes go right and then left. Now they want a dart, I want you to go slow, so right and then left. Keep the eyes left, now adjust your neck, muscles either side of your neck, pull the head back to centre and then to the left, it's just your neck. Your back and your arm may want to get involved. Keep your eyes to the left, keep your eyes to the left. Now stay left, now that right arm. The elbow moves towards the wall behind you. 
fingertips towards the wall behind you. Now feel the ball of the arm moving in the shoulder socket and feel how your right blade, as the arm, as the elbow comes towards the wall behind you, the blade slides towards the spine. As the arm goes in front of you, it slides away. So the ball of the arm and the blade glides over the ribs together. Okay, hold that. Now just the ribs. Okay, so your head and your arms move, but there's no movement at the neck joint, no movement at the arm joint. The waist muscles are moving the ribs, which rotates the lower back. Now hold that all right again. Sorry, left. Okay, now let it come back. Waist centre. Where is it where you feel even left and right? And now we're going to go from the bottom up to the top. So the ribs go, then the arm twists the upper back, and then the head, and then back to centre. Ribs, arm. It's gentle. It's very gentle. And again. Now where is centre? Where do you feel centre? Forward and back. And then twisty, come back into centre. Just rest your hands, just close your eyes. And in the centre, the belly and the back relax and your diaphragm and your pelvic floor can breathe you. Okay, come back to centre. Relax your right arm down by your side, left arm up. Just everything to the right and come back. Just everything and hold it right. So your head's twisted to the right. That arm's across the body. Keep everything right, just your eyes. Your eyes go left and then right. Again, notice how they want to dart. Slow them down and then left and then right. Keep the eyes to the right. Now just your head to look forwards and twist it back to your right. Now find that range of movement where the neck is moving with ease, that which you practice becomes a habit. So no straining, just ease. Hold the head. And now that left arm. Feel the ball of the arm. So the chest muscle and the blade move the arm in the shoulder socket. It's not just the elbow. Don't push from the elbow. Good. Keep that. Now just the ribs. So your waist muscles turn the ribs. Check you're not using your neck, you're not using the arm. Wake up your waist muscles, your obliques. Okay, just keep everything twisted to your right. Now come back to centre, waist neutral. Now let's go. Ribs, arm, head and eyes. Back to centre. Ribs, arm, head and eyes. Back to centre. Just come back. Now we're going to go side to side. And where I want you to keep the focus is back in the centre. So you move into the movement, out the movement, and then back into quiet, back into stillness. So first, breathe in, roll your arms back, arch your back. Breathe out very slow, very gentle, just round. And now where's centre? Where is it where you feel more in your pelvis than held up or sunken down? Spine comes into centre. Left arm down by your side. Ribs, then the arm goes, and then the head. Back to centre. Where is centre? Forward, back, twisty, twisty. Change arms. Twist, back to centre. Now just be the observer. Just watch and feel into your body. You don't need to squeeze or to tighten. And back, and again. And back to centre. And again. Good. Feel that centre. Feel the centre. And then from that place of quiet, of stillness, of centre, you move. And it's like a metaphor for life. We have to do stuff in life. Stuff happens. But you keep practice coming back into your quiet. Back into your stillness. Close your eyes. And now just feel your breath. Feel the sun shining in through the crown of your head. And right there into your chest. Imagine the sunshine right there. And just listen to the feeling of the sun. And in the listening, the mind becomes quiet. There's a quiet and inner peace. 
now feel that as love. You can never feel anyone else's love. You can only feel love from the inside. So feel it stronger, deeper from within you and then it shines out. And as you shine the love out, as you feel it, it ignites other people's love and they feel their love. Now imagine just being completely void, completely empty of opinions. Opinions of yourself, opinions of others, of how life should be. Instead, just rest in this feeling of love and peace and joy. And from this place of stillness, of more peace, of more love, of more joy, you can become unwobbleable by others. It doesn't really matter what others are doing. That doesn't mean that you let them walk all over you, but it comes from a clarity of mind, not from a fear or from anger or from frustration. It's from a deeper peace that you know what's right from your heart, not your head. You know the right thing to eat, the right place to be, the right thing to say from your inner knowing. So I invite you as you go through the day to keep coming back to this place of quiet, of stillness and listen for your inner knowing. Namaste. Have a lovely day and I look forward to seeing to you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.